What's up everyone? This is Masa Shibata from Bangkok, Thailand. How are you guys doing? Today is coffee time! So today I am going to try out some Starbucks coffee that I got, which is this! The Guatemala Antigua. I don't really know what that means. Anyways, I stopped by Starbucks nearby. Right now in Thailand, since June 28th, 2021 we are not allowed to dine outside even in the cafes so even though I wanted to go go out and grab a coffee at Starbucks nearby I could only do take takeaways so rather than taking away one cup of coffee I decided to grab a whole pack of beans by the way I was actually looking for um, dark roast coffee but when the staff from the Starbucks asked like what kind of taste do I like and um, what kind of machine I have, how do I make my coffee. I described that I gr grind it myself and do a pour over. And based on the Starbucks person, medium roast is better than dark roast when you are doing pour over coffee because it has more aroma. I, I didn't really know that and I, so I'm very interested to try out how this is gonna be like. set. Maybe some of you might have already seen this set in, in my other vlogs. This is from a brand named Kintos and I actually got the bigger one which has a capacity of two cups of coffee and I'm thinking oh since I'm like since I'm all alone here um, it would have been em enough uh, for one cup of coffee. They have another smaller size of this one. And this is a coffee, uh, the gooseneck kettle that I got from an online store in Thailand called Lazada. It's nothing much, um, just a plain kettle. Nothing much. The grinder I also got is from Lazada. This is a multi-purpose grinder, not only for coffee, you can also use it for like other um, spices, whatever you might have to grind, but I only use it for coffee. Okay, so let's open up the coffee. Oh, yeah, it smells so good. Whoops. My precious bean. Alright, so. Let's grind it. I'll do 15, 15 grams. Maybe 14 might be good enough, but here we go. Sorry for the mess. This will go in here. Now it's ready to be grinded. And while before that, I'm gonna pour pour the hot water in the kettle. 230 grams. Went a little bit over, but it's okay. I'm using the this type of paper filter the cone type so I'm using the paper filter uh, cone type because um, because the Kinto this guy is as you can see it's cone type it's not one of those um, types where the bottom is flat so I have to use this one so I will just fold it a little bit open it up Place it in here and I will dampen the paper first with the extra water that I have. I will 
also uh, pour hot water in here so that the coffee won't cool down. Give it a swirl. Give this guy a swirl too so that it warms up enough. Now let's grind this guy. Ta-da! Ooh, smells so good. Alrighty, so next on the agenda is pouring it. So I will weigh it out again. I will place it on the scale again. Why I am placing on a scale is because I am going to divide my pouring time into two times. I, I'm sorry, I meant three times. First, I will let the coffee uh, soak, and that is about 50 grams. And then after it soaks, it, after it bubbles and soaks and drains, then um, I will pour a lot more water about um, up until about 150, and then um, let it drain again and pour the rest of the water in so that it becomes full a full 230 grams. Okay, so let's put the coffee in here. Looks pretty dark, but this is still medium. I actually like doing this like doing this sweeping thing. It feels good. <laughs> Alright. Looks something like that. Now time to start pouring. Let's get a good view of that. stage I will let it bubble and then drip it for about 30 seconds let it stay still and now for the second round don't want to disturb it so much kind of a uh, want to circle it draw 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 a circle when you pour Now it is 152 grams, I will let it drip a little bit more, and when that drips enough, I will pour the remaining water in. it out before it drips everything. It's pretty dark. It's nice and brown. A dark brown, a bit amber color to it. Let's pour it in. Cheers! Got my coffee with me. It does. I'm not really good at this, but it does smell like um, it does smell a little bit like cocoa, cocoa, pretty um, nutty. And ooh. okay, I gotta take a sip of this. Hmm. Oh yeah. Hmm. It is very aromatic. Oh, the flavor. Oh, yeah. I have something with me today. The Muji. The Muji series. The strawberry 
Jam Sandwich Cracker! Yay! They were doing a buy one get one free promotion. So I decided to grab one of them. Oh, let's get some jazz music going on. Okay, so coffee time. Coffee with biscuits. Don't really want to tip the coffee too much. <laughs> it's gonna spill. Ah, nice. It's one of these mini salted crackers with strawberry jam sandwiched in into it. I can't really open it up. Mm, oh yeah, here we go. Really goes well with coffee. Alright, thank you for watching. I will post the information and links below about all of the stuff that I introduced today relating to my coffee products and also these, I guess, if I can find the link. By the way, let me read you about uh, the story of Guatemala Antigua. Coffee from the Antigua Valley of Guatemala is the touchstone of quality. Here, farmers take enormous pride in traditions, resulting in consistent flavor, cup after cup, lemon, chocolate, and soft spice notes with an elegant mouthfeel unique to this region. It's why we loved this coffee back in 71 and why we love it today. So this really does taste um, elegant. It's aromatic, it has that kind of spice scent to it and a little bit of that nutty, uh, chocolatey flavor, like cocoa. It's very smooth too. I like it. All right. So, uh, thank you for watching the video today. I hope you liked it. Please press like and hit the subscribe button. And I will continue to have my good coffee break. I hope you have your wonderful coffee time and see you in the next video. Bye-bye!